Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I am going to go ahead and show you how to make a fried eggplant with some shrimp and some fried fish. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make that. And what I have into my bowl over here, I have some butter fish that I went ahead and I marinate, I season it with my green seasoning, some onion powder, garlic powder, some um, fish seasoning, all bay seasoning and some mustache with some olive oil. I went ahead and I seasoned it and what I did, I cut my fish, I sliced my fish open like that and I'm going to be frying these fish nice and flat. So that is what I seasoned my fish with. Let me get my hands on right here. And I am going to be listing all of the ingredients into the description screen so you will know how to season your fish. And what I have into my bowl over here, this is the seasoning that I went ahead and I marinate my fish with. And what's in my green seasoning is onion, garlic, celery, thyme, basil, scallion, um, all that good stuff, chili pepper that I marinate and blend up into my seasoning here. And I take two tablespoons of this and season in my fish. And these are nice butterfish from Guyana. Also, I have some shrimp into my bowl here that I went ahead and clean, and these are the red shrimp, Guyana red shrimp. And into my bowl over here, I have five large potatoes that I went ahead and thinly sliced. And I have my eggplant over here that I went ahead and I cut nicely and squeezed the seeds out. If there's a lot of seeds into your eggplant, just put it into a colander and run the water over and squeeze it until all those seeds are out. I don't like to see seeds in my eggplant. Into my bowl over here, I have all my ingredients that I need to cook this delicious eggplant. And what I have here is some chili pepper, garlic, onion, celery, thyme, basil, some parsley, all nicely chopped up here. And this is what I'm going to be needing to cook my dish. So the first thing we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do is to start with our potatoes. Because how I like to cook my potatoes, I like my potatoes to be nice and golden brown in my eggplant. I don't like a soggy potatoes in my eggplant. So I'm going to show you how I make my potatoes into my eggplant. So I'm going to move these away for now. And some of my family doesn't eat shrimp. So what I'm going to do, I am going to add my shrimp last into my eggplant. So some, because some of my family doesn't eat seafood. So I'm not going to be mixing the shrimp right away into the eggplant. I'm going to add that last into the eggplant. But the first thing I wanted to do is to go ahead and start with my potatoes. So over here into my pot I have my oil that is going nicely there let's go ahead and start frying our potatoes and what I'm going to be adding into my pan here I am going to be adding some of my onion garlic and chili pepper to get the potato started just a little not a lot just a little just to get the potato started and I am going to give this a nice toss and let it cook up for about three minutes before I add my potatoes. I'm going to let that cook up nicely there. Guys, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, please remember guys, on the right hand corner of the screen, there's a notification bell. Kindly go ahead and click on that so you will not miss out on any of my videos that I will be posting. And for all my established subscribers and viewers, I thank you for continuing to show me the love. Please guys, please send me your comments, your feedback. Um, if there's anything you would like me to make for you, please go ahead and leave me a comment. I do read all comments, so please go ahead and send me a comment. And I will make it for you. 
in the past couple of weeks guys well past two months two to three months I've been doing some grocery hampers I've been giving out some grocery hampers to families that are very much in need families that lost their job and going through a difficult time I've been giving out some hampers and grocery hampers and what's in my grocery hampers it is food item grocery to last them for a week and a half to two weeks and then I have a second hamper that I also provide them with toiletry like toothpaste, soap, um, toilet paper, deodorant, um, women's sanitary, whatever they need to last them for that week and a half to two weeks. So every week I'm giving out some hampers also I'm making meals and I'm giving out dinners and lunches to families. So if you would like to support my channel guys, the best way to support my channel is to like and share my videos on all your social media, your friends, your family, your co-worker, wherever you could um, share my videos to get the word out there. Kindly do so. I very much appreciate it in advance. Okay, let me show you what my seasoning look like here. So my seasoning is fine up nicely there. Let's go ahead and add our potatoes. And to my potatoes, I am going to be adding a little bit of garlic powder and some mustache, unsalted mustache. Also, I am going to be adding some salt, a little bit of salt. A little bit of vegetable bouillon. And let's give this a nice toss here. This is my way of cooking my eggplant, my fried eggplant. There are many versions of making eggplant. This is my way. Everyone cook differently. This is my way. If there's something that you see that I add to my recipe here and you don't like, you can always remove or add. You can always remove from the recipe, okay? This is not set on stone. This is my way of cooking my fried eggplant. So if there's something that I add to my eggplant that you don't like, you can always go ahead and remove it. So I'm going to let my potatoes tied up nicely here until it's nice and tender and golden brown. I'm going to let that continue to fry. In the meantime, over here, onto my stove, let's go ahead and get our fish fried up. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our fish. So right now, I have my fish nicely breaded here with my flour. Let's go ahead and get this started. until it's nice and golden brown and then I'll go ahead and I'll start it over and let the other side fry. In the meantime, over here, into my pot, my potatoes tied up nicely. Let's check on that. And this is frying nice and golden brown here. And this is exactly how I want my potatoes to be. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at that delicious potato there. So my potato is frying up nicely there. I'm going to give it another two minutes. Then I'll take it out and we will start with our shrimp and our eggplant. In the meantime, my fish is frying up nicely over there. So I'm going to let that continue to fry and I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so I went ahead and I give my fish a nice turn there. Let me show you what it looks like. Look how beautiful that is cooking. And over here, 
into my pot. Let's go ahead and check on our potatoes. And my potatoes is completely finished here. I'm going to remove it from the pot. I'm going to remove my potatoes so I can get my pot started. This is the way I like to cook my eggplant. I like to have my potatoes nice and crispy into my fried eggplant. Okay, look how beautifully done these potatoes are. Look at them. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to start with our shrimp. So into the same pan there, let's go ahead and add our shrimp. And to our shrimp, let's add some mist dash. A little bit of vegetable bouillon, a little bit of garlic powder, and let's give this a nice sauce here. You're going to let your trim cook for about four minutes, three to four minutes. Then we will remove it and we will start with our vegetables. To my shrimp, I'm going to add some smoked paprika. And let's give this a nice sauce here. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at that beauty. Just look at this beauty into my pot. It's only been a minute now since my shrimp is cooking. Look at that. I'm going to let my shrimp cook for about another minute and a half. Then I will remove it. I am going to wash my pot and start with the next one. In the meantime, my fish is cooking up nicely over there, frying up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and remove my fish, then I'll come back and show you the next part. Okay guys, so my first set of fish is completely finished. I went ahead and I fried it up nicely there, nice and golden brown. And into my pot over here, my shrimp is completely finished. I am going to turn my stove off for a second. I will remove my shrimp. Then I will go ahead and wash my spoon and my pot and then we will come back and start with our eggplant. And the reason I'm doing that is because some of my family doesn't eat shrimp so I don't want to contaminate anything. So that's the reason I'm going, I'm taking my shrimp out. This is going to add back glass into my eggplant so nothing will be contaminated. Look at this shrimp. Nice Diana red shrimp. Look at that. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to go ahead and wash my pot. In the meantime, my fish is frying up nicely over there. I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so our fish finished frying. Our shrimp finished frying here. Look at that. And our fish is completely fried up nicely there. Nice and warm and brown. Also, my potatoes, completely fried up. Let's start with our eggplant now. So into my bowl over here, I have some oil that's heating up nicely there. Let's go ahead and add our seasoning. And let's give this a nice sauce here.
I love the pop-up fresh seasoning. And I'm going to let this side up for about three minutes before I add my eggplant. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at all that good seasoning here, tying up nicely. I'm going to let that continue to fry for another minute before I add my eggplant. Okay, so I went ahead and I squeezed all the seeds out of my eggplant and I removed the water. So let's add our eggplant here. And to my eggplant, I am going to be adding some salt. I have a little salt left in my dish here. I'm going to add my salt. I am going to add some mustache, not a lot, just a little. And this is unsalted mustache here. And give this a nice toss. So I'm going to let this fry it up nicely here. Let me show you what it looks like. So I'm going to let my eggplant fry up nicely here. Then I will come back and I will show you the next step. Okay, let's go ahead and check on our eggplant here. Wow, this is looking so lovely here. It's looking up so nice. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that delicious eggplant. Okay, so what I did here... I break my fish up into little pieces and I'm going to be adding it to my eggplant. But before I do that, let's go ahead and add our tomatoes and our potatoes back to the eggplant here. And let's give this a good toss. And you want to cook your eggplant on nice high heat. Give it a nice sauce there. I'm going to let this fry for about three more minutes. Then I'll go ahead and add my fish. I will take my family, the ones that doesn't eat shrimp. I'm going to take their own out first. And then I will add my shrimp. So I'm making fried eggplant with some shrimp and some fried fish. So I have some shrimp here, some fried fish here. I have my shrimp here, so I'm making fried eggplant with potato, fried fish, and shrimp. I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so to my eggplant, let's go ahead and add our fish. And we are going to give this a nice sauce here. You're just going to fold it just like that. You don't want to mince your fish up into the eggplant. Just like that. And I'm going to let it cook for about another two minutes. Then I'll go ahead, I'll take some out for the ones that does need shrimp. And then I will add my shrimp. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I take some out for the ones that does not eat shrimp. I'm going to set that aside. And now to my eggplant, I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp. And I'm going to give this a nice big toss, let it cook for a minute, and then I'll turn my stove off. I will plate it and let you see what it looks like. So today I make you fried eggplant with shrimp and some fried fish. Let me bring my camera in so I can show you what it looks like. Look how beautiful and tasty that is. Look at that. Nice fried eggplant with some shrimp and fry fish. So I'm going to let this cook up for another minute. I will turn my stove off, I will plate it and let you see what it looks like. And there you have it guys, a nice delicious fried eggplant with potato, fry fish 
and shrimp. There you have it. If you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up on the right hand corner of the screen. There's a notification bell. You can go ahead and click on that so you will not miss out on any of my videos. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please like and share, like and share, and remember to subscribe guys. I very much appreciate it. All who is new to my channel, every week for the past two months, for the past ten weeks, I've been giving out food hampers, grocery hampers to families that are very much in need. And I've been cooking and sharing out meals. So if you would like to support my channel, guys, please go ahead, like and share my video. That's the best way to support my channel is to like and share my videos on all your social media, your friends, your family, your co-worker, wherever you could um, put the word out there for me, guys, I will very much appreciate it. Today, I bring you a delicious fried eggplant with shrimp and fried fish. I'm going to bring it closer to my camera so you can see what it looks like. Look at that beauty. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Nice fried eggplant with shrimp and fried fish. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video.